Hey Jesus, welcome back to my episode of Is and Worth It. So for today's episode, we got this cool amazing runner here, and basically what this is is a hover ball game. So basically, the way how they design this part allows you guys to use like a two-in-one sport. So it's basically like playing hockey and soccer combined, which is pretty cool. So you definitely have the option to use your feet, or you guys also use like the hockey stick that provide for you guys to actually play with the actual product as well. And we see in the side right here, they probably got some specs in the future about the actual ball because it's not an actual ball. It's basically a hovering option. We actually float above the ground, which is kind of cool. And the product is rechargeable. So that way when you guys run out of battery, you can recharge it really easy anytime, anywhere. And supposedly for an actual ball, it does light up. And the way how they design the side of the ball, it does have some protection on there so it won't damage like your furniture or hurt anyone when you guys play around with it. And if you guys turn to the back, they probably got some information in terms of what is actually included in this set. So first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what actually looks like inside first. All right, so once you guys open up, this is what it looks like inside. So they do probably get a stick that you can set up yourself. So there's more parts of the stick right here. More right here. Right here, they probably got a bunch of accessories that's been used to set up the net. Right here, they probably got a little pump that can pump air in the ball. And here is basically the ball that they provide for you guys, which is like a soccer ball or something. Right here, they probably got a mini screwdriver and a bunch of screws. Here we have one of the hover balls. You can see this is what the other side looks like. So the bottom part is where you guys will plug in a cable to charge it. And right here is on and off switch. And when you guys do feel the side of the product, it definitely has a very nice cushion so that we can protect your furniture if it bumps into it. Right here is another one with a smaller version. But for this small one, you probably have to take off the screw to actually set it up. But we'll figure out that in a second. Right here, they do probably get a charging cable then plug in to recharge it. And right here, they probably got a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Right here, they probably got the bottom part of the actual hockey stick. And last but not least, we do have the part for you to set up the net option. And that is basically everything that's included in the package. So first thing I'm going to show you guys how to set up the net and also the actual stick first. So first thing you guys want to do is to unscrew this part here to make it a little bit looser. So that way you can stick it in. And you guys also need to use one of the screws to fill in the last hole. But let's unscrew it first to make it a little bit looser. You don't want to make it too loose. Just loose enough for you guys to stick the pole in. So then that should be fine. So you guys want to stick it in. Make sure it goes all the way in. Alright, so once you guys got both of them together, then you guys want to screw it back on. And then once you guys screw this back on, you guys can get one of the screws that screw it in right here. And that will help you guys hold the product in, so that way it won't fall out. Alright, so once you guys finish that part, then what you're going to do is put on the bottom part, which is right here. So you just want to insert it in. Make sure it goes all the way in. Then you just put the screw on top right here. Alright, so once you guys got it in, you guys want to screw it in. Make it as tight as possible. Alright, so that should be good. So once you guys finish setting up, here is basically what the product looks like. So the length or the size of the product is perfect if you guys have kids. It's not really ideal for adults, but you can definitely use it if you guys want to as well. So once you guys finish setting this up, you guys want to do the same thing for the other stick as well, if you guys are playing with two people. But now let me show you guys how to set up the net. So the way how you guys set up the net is actually pretty easy. You guys can take out the orange part right here. So for the orange accessory, they do have this available in different sides. So there's some for the corner and some that are straight. And the inside right here, we do have the net, but we'll set that up in a second. And inside they also probably got this suction cup that you can stick onto the actual window or something if you guys want to. Let's start setting up the actual foundation or the corner or the side of the actual product first. So what you guys can do is stick the orange part into the middle like this. And stick the other one like this. Stick it as far as you guys can. And once you guys set that up, you guys want to do a few more. You're going to need one for the top and one for the bottom. Alright, so now we have one for top and one for bottom. What you're going to do next is get the corner side right here. And you guys want to stick one right here. Same thing for other side. So just like that. And you guys want to repeat the same step for the other one as well. Alright, stick this one in. Get one right here. Same thing applies to the other side. So now we have one for the top and also for the bottom. So what you guys are going to do next is set up like this. And one for the other side as well. And once you guys have that set up, you guys want to insert the bottom part on. So go like this. And this side as well. And then it's basically all set with that part. So now you guys can set up the net. So they do probably got two net. So that way you can set up two different gold options. So before I set up the net, I do want to let you guys know one thing that's actually really important. If you guys want to use suction cup option, you need to get the specific pole that has the holes on here. So you see right here, we do have the hole. And that is basically where you guys can insert the suction option. So that way you can use it to stick it onto the wall or something if you guys want to. Or you can also use a suction option to stick it onto the ground. So I just cut the bottom part and put on the one with the hole. And then we'll show you guys how the suction option works when you guys do set it up. And the way how you guys take it out is actually really easy. You just want to twist it a little bit and just pull it out really easy. But you basically want to have one hole on one side and one on the other side. So now we do have the hole on the bottom. 
we want to do the same thing for other side. All right, so now we got it set up correctly with the holes in the bottom. So if you guys insert the suction cup in the bottom, just go like this, just push it in all the way. All right, so we got one of them set up. We want to do the same thing for other side. All right, so we're done with that. Now we can finally put the net on. All right, so I just finished setting up the net. So the way how you guys set up the net is actually pretty easy. You basically want to strap on one corner on top, one on the bottom, one on this side, and same thing for the other side right here, here, and here as well. So once you guys do fully set up the net, here is basically what the file looks like. And you basically want to do the same thing for the other net as well. But now let me show you guys how to charge up the hover ball first. So like I mentioned, it does give you guys different options available. You can either use the manual option right here, where you use the hand pump to pump air in. And obviously for the manual option, you don't need to recharge or anything, so it's just a regular ball. So when you pump air in the ball, you definitely want to make sure it goes all the way in, otherwise it won't work. Alright, so once you guys are done, you can pull it out, and it's all set. So that is the first option available. Second option is for you guys to recharge it using cable right here. Alright, so let's plug it in. Once you guys plug it in, then start charging. And if you guys try to turn it on. The product definitely does work. So you see the product definitely does work even when you guys do have it plugged in. But if you guys unplug it, if you guys try to turn it on again. That works as well. So you definitely have the option to use it wired or wireless, which is pretty cool. Word for the last option right here, this one is not rechargeable using a cable. This one you guys need to unscrew all the different screws on here and put in the battery. And the battery that you need are three AAA batteries. So for this test, I'm not going to use this one. I'm only going to be using this one and maybe the soccer ball. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually go test this out to show you guys how it works and what the product looks like when you guys do use it. And I will come back and talk more about it in a second. Alright, so right here we do have the hockey stick. And right here we do have the net. And right here we do have the hover ball. And right here is a normal ball. So for all these products, the way how to design it is actually safe for your kid to play. And it won't damage any furniture when you guys throw it. If you see. Same thing applies to this hover ball as well. And I'll show you guys how it works. So for the regular normal ball, you can just use it normally. You guys can throw it or you can just kick it. Just like that if you guys want to. Or if you guys want to use a hockey stick to hit it, you guys can do that as well. If you guys use the hover ball option, either this one or the battery option, that is up to you guys. But if you guys turn it on, let me show you guys what it actually looks like. So basically what's happening is it's blowing air directly onto the ground and it allows it to move around. And you guys will give a little bit of push onto it. It moves around so easily. It definitely has a cushion or the foam on the side, so that way it won't damage the furniture. But it's so easy for you guys to move it around if it's safe. And you see when you guys turn on the pot, it does light up. Let me turn off the light to show you guys a better point of view. Alright, so that is basically what the pot looks like when you guys do turn off the light. So if you guys want to get this as a gift for your kids to play around with, you definitely can. But that is basically everything that's included in the package in terms of how to set up and how to use it. So you can see it definitely works pretty well. Welcome back guys. So nice little quick test the pot and definitely see actually does work and should work quite well. So you see the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long if you guys follow all the instructions correctly. If you guys are adult and you guys want to play with this as well, you definitely can. So whether if you guys want to use the battery option, the USB option, or even if you guys want to use like the normal ball, how you guys want to use it, that is up to you guys. But the product is definitely super compact and portable, so that way you can bring it along with you guys anywhere and use it anytime. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these warranties. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality toy where it actually allows your kid to play soccer or ice hockey at the same time or separately, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.